Okay, North Texas and Florida International here. North Texas, a 12-point favorite, and the total 51 and a half here. This is game number 374, 375. And uh, I'm showing now all the way down to 12. The general opener was around 14. There was an opener as high as 17. Got some very sharp cappers, certainly on Florida International. Has it been, you know, uh, that popular at the window, or is it something else that's sent this game kind of on the move like this? Because uh, that is just a huge, huge move. And you see the total here also. At 51 and a half right now, that's a, you're right in the middle pretty much of uh, where this one's been. This one's been all over the place. The general opener was 53 and a half, so there is certainly a move lower, but the uh, uh, initial move uh, was 54 and a half, all the way down to 48 and a half, and then back up here to 51 and a half. So Mindy's on the under, though, here, 51 and a half. And uh, for me, I, I, I think North Texas is a, and it's a Florida International, by the way, Mr. Producer Guy. And for me, I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm buying into the move necessarily, and I might look for the discount here uh, on North Texas. I mean, I know there's some pretty sharp cappers, on Florida International here, but I'm a little worried about this move. I think it's creating some value here on North Texas. Interesting that these two teams were in the same conference, and now they've enjoyed playing each other so much, even though they're not in the same conference, they decided to schedule this game. How about that? Uh, last two meetings, North Texas won this matchup 101 to 21. Now we know there's been a little bit of a you know movement with these two teams. Uh, Tech, North Texas had a rough time in that loss to Cal, 58 to 21. So you know it's a new head coach, Cal. They're definitely doing something different. I mean, talk about all those good teams in the Pac-12. You don't necessarily throw Cal in there with them, but. Uh, Cal right now, they're running as many plays as anybody in the country. They're going tempo, tempo, tempo. So maybe North Texas caught by surprise or whatever here because it's definitely a change of pace. North Texas a trailed 27-21 uh, late in the second half. They gave up another touchdown and then 25 unanswered points. So North Texas had just 41 yards rushing. They threw three interceptions. Uh, they couldn't stop uh, Cal. So FIU beat Maine 14 to 12 as a 10 and a half point favorite. They were outgained by Maine by 70 yards and lost the first down battle 27 to 13. FIU had just 13 rushing yards, but got a couple of touchdown passes from Jenkins who threw for 292 yards. So I'm going to, I, 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 I like the statistic. North Texas has beat these guys up pretty good. Um, I think there's some pretty sharp guys have bought some key numbers off of this game. I'm going to lay 12 points here with North Texas. Thomas Lewis on North Texas. Jamal may be on the over here. Good morning to you, Matt. Welcome. Welcome. 